friends and welcome. Today I have an unboxing from Dreamer Designs and it is going to be something different than I normally have done so I'm really excited about that. If you can see the box it is Dreamer Designs. It says it's a premium diamond canvas kit. It also gives you their website at the end of the box. And then if you look on the back of Dreamer Design box, it also includes at the bottom of the box, it will include information of what is included in the kit. And everything is in the kit that you need in order to start diamond painting. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Okay. It take me just a second to get the plastic off. Even their boxes are shiny, and purple is one of my favorite colors. I've always been a blue favorite color person, but then all of a sudden I really started to fall in love with purple, and my oldest daughter's favorite color has been purple for as long as I can remember, so I really like how the shine is showing off the box. So I'm going to open the box. Hopefully I will be able to start on another canvas pretty soon. And I'll go over that on my whip and chat. Don't think there's anything else in this box. A couple pieces of paper. Okay. This comes in a canvas bag. And everything is in there, so it also helps. Not only is it protected in this really nice box, it is also protected for any kind of weather if it gets wet. And you can also use this to store other things in if you would like. So I have the canvas, and it also has purple. You can see the purple ribbon, so that's really cool tool kit with a little purple bag to match and then all of the drills. I'm going to put this aside so I have some space. Let's first look at the actual tool kit. Let's see what all we get in our tool kit. As you can see, everything matches. It's all purple. And you can also use this bag to store other things in as well. Okay, because, let's see, we have tweezers. And these tweezers have Dreamer Design's name on it. They are the really good sharp tweezers, so you have to be careful with those. We have not one, but two boats, and it has Dreamer Designs on the back. We have some baggies. If we wanted to use those for extra drills, there is a diamond painting pen with two squishies. And then we get two of the pink wax, two of these. And always remember to take the plastic off that's on both sides of the wax. And don't ask me how I know that. I thought something was really wrong with my wax when I first started using it. Nothing was wrong with the wax. It was the user. I did not take the plastic off. We have a straightener, which these are always nice. You can always use those. A second pin. And then we have... couple of placers here. That looks like a two placer. And then we have, I think this may be a six placer. And I like to use the really thin multi-placers. And I'm getting to where I like the metal ones better. But I keep those just in case one of my daughters needs it or someone else needs one. So I'm going to unroll this canvas and this canvas is like fighting me it's very stiff this may be a problem let's see okay so first of all 
they do put this on a foam like a little mini noodle and I use those whenever I'm diamond painting just to wrap up my canvas and there is some instructions here that tells you how to diamond paint it also gives you some information on their dreamer community you can go through you can use Facebook you can find them on Instagram so let me move some of this out of the way. They also give you the symbols here. And this is, I think, I can't tell if this is on sticker paper. It wasn't the last time. And that's fine. I just cut them and I ran it through my sticker maker. There are 58 colors in this canvas and it is called remembrance i did not tell you that let me see what i can do with this canvas this is like really it's a bear it's really fighting me their canvases are to me are always really stiff until you leave them out for a while i can't even roll this up very good until you leave their canvases out for a while their canvases are really really stiff they just feel different, so they're kind of harder for me to work on until I get used to them. And um, there's a couple of little things on the back of this, which I'm okay with, but just wanted to point that out to you. As long as the front's fine, I'm okay. Okay, this one, it's going to be really, really pretty. That is, if I can get it to where it's not going to be so hard to deal with. Let me see if I can focus this a little better. It has a little bit of a glare in the light. That might be a little better. It's still a glare. Okay. So with this one, again, it does have the schematics on both sides. So it has a schematic on the left side, the upper right side top, it is a 60 by 60, and it is from Anne Marie Bone. I have not done anything with this artist before, so that will be interesting. The symbols do look really clear, and it is very sticky. It goes quite a bit over on the canvas. So I will have to put some washi on that. But the colors are, to me, it reminds me more of fall, maybe a early, very early spring or um, a late fall, possibly. But um, I really like this tree, all the colors. It has um, clouds over here, if you can see that. And then it also has at the bottom here, we have a bunch of flowers. It looks like it's on a hill. And it's going to be different than what I have been working on, which is going to be nice because I would like a nice change of pace. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it as well. It's like the sun is setting there. And this just reminds me of a time when I was younger and my family would go and we would have picnics at a place called um, Shelby Farms in Memphis, Tennessee, and we would go horseback riding, and it was just so much fun. And so I saw this, and I thought, I just have to have this. This is a round. Even though it's a round, we still get the, the actual tweezers, and so that's nice as well. So let me open up all of the drills. not that many drills but there's so many colors on this small section here that I think that this is going to I don't think it's going to take very long it looks like there's a quite a bit of color blocking if you can see all through this yellow here that is color blocking that is let's see 158 let's see what this number one is 
these are not in order. This is a number six, so it's number 307. But all of this is going to be color blocking. That will be really quick. All of this orange here is color blocking. So that is good. We'll go over this way. The clouds are all color blocking here. And there's a lot of color blocking over in this pink section. So I don't think this will take very long once I'm able to get started. So let's look at the drills. I'm going to try to zoom it out once you can see a little better. Okay. This doesn't have much in this drill here, 976. That looks orange on camera, but it's kind of an orange red. And then we have some black here. A few browns, very few. There's some grays, that's really pretty. That looks black kind of on camera, but it is a green. And then we have this orange here, pink, one of my favorite colors of green, and then another green. And both of those look almost identical, but they are different numbers, 904 and 905. So I'm going to have to really watch for that one because it does look very similar. Okay, then I have this really pretty light pink. There's an aqua there. Here we have a blue. Okay. We have another, like a baby blue here. There's very few in that bag. Another green. This is more of a hunter green. Have some more dark grays there and then there's a bright blue and then a small bag of green there so this is mostly going to be the browns greens reds yellow gorgeous yellow I'm not really crazy about yellow but I like this yellow here 445 and we've got some of their small bags. Here's a large bag of red. Three tins. I only really have one bag of three tins. Another yellow, 307. Then we have another brown. Just a tiny bit of purple on this one. We have more green. We have a light yellow. And then a blue. Oops, I'm trying to find the end here. We have an orange. Not more of a tangerine. More blue. This is a reddish brown. That is a dark pink. Then we have navy. More brown. There's quite a bit of browns in here. There's more there, and then just a tiny bit of pink on here. Let's see. Now we're coming to more bigger bags. I'm just going to show you a small bag of purple, another small bag, and this purple. I'm not sure, can't see what number that is, but this purple here and this one are very similar. So I'm going to have to watch for both of those. A lighter purple, that's more of a lavender, a little bit more green, there's some pink. I'm loving all these pinks. My wall, my craft room is pink, and I'm just really enjoying pink right now. And there's more pink there. Here are the larger ones, and these are ABs. Oh, a lot of ABs. ABs are Aurora Borealis, and they just have more of a shine to them than other drills. And you can tell by the coating. 
Here is this one. That's a green AB. That's really pretty. There's another green AB. It's one of my favorite ABs. We have this one. That looks yellow on, ca on camera, but it's actually a tangerine. And then I have this one, which is also an AB. So with the ABs, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine ABs in this kit. That is very unusual. And there's quite a bit with each one of these for the ABs. So I'm really excited about that. So I wanted to go over the canvas one more time. I want to also see if I can't straighten this out some. For those of you that have done Dreamer designs, do you find that their canvas feels different or feels very stiff as opposed to other canvases that you use? I think their drills are really high quality. I think that once the, the actual canvas is finished, it is absolutely gorgeous but I just have a hard time with the canvases. I have several of theirs. I keep ordering more. I have one more that has just come in that I will do an unboxing probably next week on that one. But um, I just, I'm not sure. It just feels kind of strange, but I have not had any problems with any kind of tearing or anything like that. I haven't had problems with fraying. And if you can see, I'm gonna move this over some where you can see the ends. On the ends of this canvas all around have the scalloped edges and the stitching. And this prevents your, your canvas from fraying. Of all the canvases that I have done, I've only had one that started fraying on the ends, and it was a very small canvas. It was not one of the um, more known, I should say, more well-known companies, and it definitely was not Dreamer Designs, but it was a company that I probably will not use again because of the fraying, and I've heard that a lot of theirs do that, but with your quality canvases and your quality company such as dreamer designs you're not going to get the fraying i've not heard of anyone having a fraying issue so i'm going to let me zoom you out all the way this camera does not want to focus so when it's doing that it's not zooming properly but i want to show you the full effect of this canvas i'm trying to turn it around to see it should fit okay on my table but this is just an absolute beauty i am just really looking forward to working on this especially after the long canvas the huge canvas i've been working on i think this will be a nice break I want to work on this sometime this summer when I do have more time. I have a list of canvases that I want to work on. And every time I open one, I'm thinking, okay, I want to go ahead and get this one done soon. But I've got to be able to put it into my rotation so I know what I'm going to work on. And I'm going to be doing quite a few events over the summer. So I would like to see if this fits into one. And if not, then I may have to wait until like um, early fall and do this one. But I would like to go ahead and get it done because of all the gorgeous colors. And I need some color in my life right now. Um, our weather is getting better, but it's still not spring. It just doesn't feel like spring yet. It is getting very hot though. Um, but we just don't have a lot of our flowers blooming yet. And I think that this would make me feel really happy. If you have made it this far, I, um, I really appreciate it. And if you liked this content, please consider subscribing to my channel. That way you will be alerted when there's new content. And if you really liked it, please click on the like button. All of these help with um, the algorithm and for YouTube to get my videos out there for others to see. And until next time, guys, have a crafty day.